we have here increment node. Our node increment is always 10 with CSR. This is something that is recommendable to use. But you can use 20 as a node step. So every time that you want to create another element, let's say continue, continue is, is something very similar to insert element. The, this advantage of the insert element is that every time we have to write down the node. But for the other option, continue, we just click on it and you can see that this node has been assigned. Then we just need to um, assign the, the distance in millimeter. We click on it again, and you can see the 85, 105. We were here on the increment node. So if we want to turn this 20 into 10 as a node step, then we click again on continue icon. Then you, you can see that the next element is going to be, let's say, uh, 105 plus 10. 105 plus 10 is 115, and so forth and so on. You can uh, model any kind of distance, any kind of element of the Python model. In distance, you can take out the distance or the dimension of the Python model like that. This is 30 meter, the vertical distance is 6,100 millimeter. So it's very useful. If you click control and you keep pressing this control when you are making the measurements, then you can see that you can display all the dimensions into the Python model. As soon as we close the, the distance uh, icon, all these measurements are going to be removed. This is Valve uh, Flange database. Uh, I don't use that. I prefer to assign the, the dimension of the, of the Valve that we get uh, from our project. If you want to have like a Valve 1,000, 1 meter of distance, and we want to write down a weight of 50 kilograms. That is roughly 500 newton, newtons, as you can see here. And then you have the, the, the valve. Of course, you have to model here uh, another rigid element as a, as a flange. So let's say 50. So we 50 here, the distance, and here 50, uh, let's say, I don't know, 5 kilograms, 5 kilograms, 50 Newton, and you have something like that. You can also increase the, the length of the flange, so 100, something like that. The title. If you want to name your project, let's say, I don't know, the first, first model, client, uh, Udemy student, here, the person who made the piping stress analysis and knows all the observations that you want to include into this uh, project and then OK. Um, the hunger design criteria, I prefer to use this option, hungers. Then you can select all the manufacturers that we find here on this list. And the spring rate of the support, let's say 33 um, Newton per millimeter. And the theoretical code installation, like it could be like one, I don't know, why, 1,200 Newton. This theoretical code load, this is uh, normally for sustained load cases when the temperature and pressure uh, don't take place. Usually I don't use this, this part of, of the CSAT window, hunger design criteria.